Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're gonna look at some Japanese Kato passenger cars. So jumping right into this, these are a bit of a hidden gem that I have found. And as my freight collection was growing, I kind of wanted to have some passenger trains that I could run on my layout occasionally. And I've been slowly looking for deals on Amtrak rolling stock, and it just doesn't come around as often as I was like. So when I was first converting into N scale, I... I want to build a kind of a great northern excursion, you know, fantasy train. Uh, great Northern is kind of the local railroad to me. And I if I've said in the past that I remember going to the Great Northern uh, <laughs> Depot in Haver, Montana when I was young and seeing all kinds of the trains there. And now that I have some good steam Great Northern engines, I've I definitely wanted to have uh, a car or a set of, you know, passenger cars that would kind of look good with those those engines. And so I started looking at uh, trying to find some great northern passenger train cars. And, of course, they're the orange color and whatever there, but outrageously expensive when I first started looking into them. And I looked at some other ones, maybe possibly do some painting and converting Union Pacific ones, you know, uh, eight car sets, 200 some odd dollars. Uh, I looked at some Canadian national ones, some Milwaukee, and they all just were outrageously expensive, at least in my opinion, for, you know, eight pieces of rolling stock. So I just started searching some random terms on eBay, and one of the things I did was Glacier Green, which is the color scheme on those Great Northern uh, steam engines I have. I just searched great, you know, uh, Glacier Green uh, passenger cars, and oddly enough, these Japanese passenger cars showed up, and they were slightly more expensive than than I would have liked. But I just started clicking through those uh, links, and eventually, I found lots of sellers really importing them cheap to the United States. And I ended up getting, I believe, this is a set of eight. Uh, five of one car and three of the other, or vice versa there, for slightly over $100 imported from Japan. And I took a risk knowing that eBay has good, uh, you know, seller support, or buyer support, excuse me. And sure enough, two weeks later, here comes this Japanese set of rolling stock. So when I first got these, I was a little bit worried about the couplers that come on them. They have kind of a proprietary Kato coupler, and... They look a little different than normal, and these are obviously, you know, for the Japan market. But I liked the look of the hoses, and when coupled up, they do add a nice effect. They, when they do couple, um, they don't work real well with other brands of couplers. You have to be pretty uh, finicky to get them to hook up to a microtrans or even a uh, North American Kato coupler. But... Like for like couplers, they actually hook up pretty well. And once they're attached, they stay connected really quite well. I don't have a whole lot of issues with these decoupling or derailing. And so after lots of runtime, I was worried about them. And honestly, they've been super awesome for me. I'm going to zoom in here, see if you can get a look. Kind of down there at the bottom. I'll move it to the center here. You can see the air hoses. They genuinely look like they connect and they they do, they look really nice. Also, the cars are nice and close together with these couplers and they track really well around tight radiuses. I've got some uh, some nine inch stuff that I've tested this on. The, the minimum on my layout is 12 inch, but when I was first getting into this and I had some nine inch uh, Bachman stuff that are nine and three quarter, whatever track, just fine on that as well. So let's go ahead and grab each of these and just take an up close look. Interiors in these and nice greeble bottoms. There's lots of detail on the undercarriage of these. They, they really have nice detail that way, especially for a really budget set of these. 
nice detail on the doors. Glass is nice and clear. Trucks look good. Oops. Open door on this end. And there's an up close look at that coupler and the hoses. And this end has a closed door if you were running it at the end of your consist. And here's the other one. I'm not sure what the difference in these, but same idea. Relatively nice undercarriage detail. Also metal wheels with the pickups, so these are ready for lighting should you want to put LEDs in them at some point. I mean, relatively simple, but they're, you know, they're passenger cars, so there isn't a whole lot of outside uh, detail to be had. Closed door on that end, and an open cabin on this. So yeah, at a little over $100 for these, there is also another set. And after kind of figuring this out, I just kind of searched eBay, and there are lots and lots of people importing these Japanese passenger car sets, and they're kind of sort of fire sailing them. You can get lots of different cars, lots of different uh, paint schemes for, you know, different things. Right about that $100 range for, you know, seven to nine cars. So looking at about a $12 car all said and done, and frankly, if you're running them all together, you don't need to worry about doing any coupler conversions. They do function properly when hooked up together. So for that $12.5 range, these are actually kind of a steal. I have been really happy with them. So that being said, I think uh, if you need a budget set of, you know, passenger cars, and you're looking to kind of do a little bit of a fantasy scheme because these are Japanese uh Japanese pieces of rolling stock, I think that they might work out. If you're not too picky about uh, what you're running on your layout, these are awesome. They've been great for me. And frankly, now that I've got them, I've kind of started looking at some of the Japanese stuff, and I really like that kind of 50s, 60s era vibe that you get from the Japanese stuff. And maybe one of these days, uh, a little more money ahead, we'll start bringing in some of that stuff because it just it looks cool. I like the... Uh, the, the form and function that they have on that stuff. So anyway, thought I would just kind of share one of my hidden gems with you guys here. I am waiting on some other rolling stock to show up so I can get some testing done. And I thought this would be a good intermediary. So I will see you this Sunday for the review. Bye now.